rounding up the trio of Batman vehicles featured in Batman Forever, here is the Batman Forever Batwing. And of course, this is probably the uh, most fun of all the Batman vehicles released for the Forever Mod. Well, actually, probably the most second fun because I just found another one that I will re be reviewing. And there's Keeper. So anyway, getting to it, here it is. The Batman Forever Batwing with hidden battle cockpit and explosive rocket launcher. But of course, like in all my reviews, you didn't come to see Cardboard Box. You came to see... The Batwing. What makes this vehicle fun? Well, it's huge. I'll, I'll give you that. It's probably even larger than the turbojet Batwing. It's probably got about the same wingspan. Once again, coming from the summer blockbuster of 1995, Batman Forever. And yeah, say what you want about it now. Admit it. You loved it back then, especially if you were eight years old like I was. Watching it now, it was like, oh my god, I can't believe my parents actually let me see this. I mean, Nicole Kidman's naked in the bed! Well, the design, still in a techno-organic feel, you know, the blue and added with the... Uh, like I said, I didn't like the design of the Batmobile. I didn't like the design of the Batboat. But with the Batwing, I don't know. I'm kind of mixed. I like the, I, I like the design. I don't love it. I like the design. Just because it just... It looks more menacing than the other two. But the toy itself is also fun because not only... I mean, the wings can pivot downward. And this is what they call, you know, for a deep dive mode. You know, when the bat will, when the bat wing was hit and he had to dive into the water. And then also, there is the Kenner missile launcher. Kenner put missile launchers on everything to include playability. Explosive rocket launcher. It kind of looks like a claw. It's also very nicely designed. And also adds depth to the bottom of the vehicle, which is also very nicely designed. And another awesome feature. Some people hated the Pursuit Jet on the Batman the Animated Series because it basically just turned the car into nothing more than a shell. But you gotta admit, you love this. I'm just gonna put it right here so that way you can see it happening. Batman Forever also has a battle cockpit which becomes two vehicles in one. And what you do is, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It just says battle cockpit. Pull it out. And that's it. That's the battle cockpit. <laughs> Pretty nifty, eh? You know, when Batman has to eject out of, you know, intense situations. And, much like Kenner, since it was the 1990s, we got a seatbelt. A nice little seatbelt. And, uh, actual, you know, flight controls. That was something added that was a uh, needed improvement. We didn't get a steering wheel on the Batmobile, but they gave us flight controls and controls for the Batboat and the Batwing. Yet nothing for the Batmobile. Kenner, what the hell were you thinking? I'm guessing it was the electronic feature. And the Battle Cockpit has, you know, the same design features as the actual Batwing itself. 
so it looks compatible. I think that's in there right. Yep, it's in there right. And of course the the uh, cockpit opens up and down. Also I can't remember and I don't know where it is, but I do have the Forever Bat Cave. And I think that's what these were for. These little pegs here. Because the Batman Forever, the, the Batwing was supposed to hang on to the Bat Cave. I gotta find that too. But, that is the Batwing. And uh, that rounds out the uh, trio of Bat vehicles until one year later. We got this bad boy. The Batman Forever Triple Action Vehicle Set. That is right. A year later, we got the Triple Action Vehicle Set. Interlocking pieces to construct real movie vehicles. Is this a uh, is this a uh, thing of um, a look into the future, a premonition of things to come? I don't know. It could be. One thing you gotta love about this box, though, Kenner stole Kenner either used this design, stole it, whatever. But you can't help but notice that it looks exactly. Like the color scheme for the Power of the Four Star Wars vehicles. Lightsaber, uh-huh. Vader's head would have been right here, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it was a coincidence. I think Kenner ultimately stole it. And then once the Batman Forever line officially died off in 1997... I mean, yeah, 1997, with the Batman and Robin line, you can't help but wonder. That's also the same time that they went from the orange-red card design to the green. They said it was because of the special edition. That was the reason why it went to green. Huh. I think it was because they canceled forever. What do you think? So anyway... Put him as Zed, leaving you guys yet another time, but I will be back in due time.